All right. So once again, to recap, everything we know is a lie. We don't don't think the um, Earth Song it will actually save our world, but we're gonna try anyway. Um, if only to <laughs> beat this one other hero, Audrey, who is trying to kill all of the Guardians. Our stone match finishes really quick because I want to focus for this. Actually, just hold on a minute. I will be right back. Oh man, I'm I'm so ready to make fan stuff for this, honestly. I'm just, I'm very excited. Oh, also let me tweet out that we're back. Okay. Okay, let me tweet that real fast. Lord, and Lord loves him. <gasps> Pepsi, Pepsi! Ah! Um, hold on. Um, yeah, I kind of knocked over my... Yeah. It's kind of all over the desk now. This has just been a wonderful night for me. Luckily, I have a towel right here. Because I actually use that to wrap up my screen so it doesn't scratch. Oh, boy. It wasn't actually a lot of my Pepsi, but... <laughs> there was a Pepsi accident. Spray it down so you don't get ants later. Yeah, I'll have to uh, mention that later because I can't do that right now. <laughs> Is the computer safe? Yes, it's fine. It's fine. I quickly got everything out of the way. Ugh. What a day. Okay. Oof. All right. So we went back to this town, our hometown. And um, we are going to go and storm the factory to try and get to the next waypoint. We've all sort of agreed on, uh, we've agreed with our friends to go take a ship at the shift at the factory. So that's what we're going to go do. I want to work a shift in the factory today. Oh, goody. Come right this way! <sighs> Good luck in there. We all got your back. Ever since you showed up, my life's gotten so much better! You gave us direction, sense of purpose. For this, you have my thanks. Yeah, thanks! Now we descend into the belly of the beast and clean the city back. 
from the clutches of this dark machinery. Yeah, what he said. Somehow we all got jobs. I thought they'd never want me. You came off really strong when you asked. It was pretty weird. Your pathetic begging was a wonderful cover. And it's so much passion. They didn't suspect a thing. I thought it was creepy. I was pretty sure that guy wasn't going to let us in. Enough sap already. We have a job to do. Or not do. <laughs> Please protect Miriam. Oh, this is the same dialogue. It's weird. Okay. Miriam is great. Miriam is great. Also, Miriam is... Well, if she wasn't slouching, she'd probably be taller than us. in his pants. I... We're starting a whole musical number. <laughs> I love this. barely see that guy. What's he? Beat the lunatic nice! Yeah, he's, it's saying to go blue, but I can't actually see what he's doing. see what he's doing. Um. Oh, right. Stairs. Those are important. Um. Excuse me. <laughs> but you were completely out of place. Get back to your post at once! <laughs> I'm laughing, but this isn't funny at all! You are disrupting the order of our factory! Stop this instant! Listen to me! You are going to get in very much big trouble if you don't! <laughs> no. No. 
I can't get up there. There we go. All right, who else are we making sink? I get it now. shirt. I don't know. The power of music? There we go. His nostrils. All right, how, what are we missing here? Disruption? Mr. Baron will want to work with you. Now move right along to his office. What if we don't want to? What if we don't want to? We're going. is just up these stairs. <laughs> you must be so excited. We've never seen such a ruckus before. But don't you worry too much. Mr. Baron can be very kind. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> yep, that's you're not creepy at all, Mr. Uh, psychotic Willy Wonka. We're ending this. I mean, he does have good taste in lights. Alright, this way. That's a big door. Hey there, buddy. Buddy chum pal. Buddy chum pal hal. Pal hal. Pal hala. Hey, then I'll be dancing in the flames and. And I'll be dancing in the flames tonight, yeah, baby, tonight, yeah, baby. Okay. You're, you're the one who disrupted my factory. I'm very disappointed in you. When we allow someone to work here, we are making them part of our family. Why would you let this family down? Because... We want you to shut it down. Shut down the factory? Yes! How could you even suggest that? Ever since I started this business, I've worked tirelessly to bring joy to people. 
and Happy Kid is my greatest work. It's the best toy. It brings smiles to everyone. Why would you want to take that away from the world? Do you hate joy? If you think Happy Kid brings joy, then you don't know what joy is! Everyone in the city is hurt by the factory. It's big and noisy and smelly. Nobody even likes Happy Kid. It's just a toy. But our lives are ruined making it. It brings no joy at all. Oh. What? It's done. What? I shut down the factory. Just like that? All I wanted was to bring joy to people. I thought Happy Kid was finally the answer. But I can see it is not. Perhaps, in my absence, the world changed. Or I did. But whatever the reason, if my factory isn't doing its job anymore, I have to reconsider its purpose. All of you, leave the way you came. I have a lot to think about. think that all these years, the dream I was working toward, it wasn't successful. That's hard. Maybe it's time I took a break. You can go. I have a lot to think about here. I'm angry, but also relieved. Angry to be told my toys didn't create joy. He really is, Santa. I'm but relieved that there were those who would tell me. I must deeply rethink what it is I'm doing. <laughs> it still kind of smells out here. But, hey, you did it. Factory's finally shut down. I totally believed in you and stuff. And I totally believed in you, Miriam! Okay. I'll be waiting outside of town. When you're ready to go see the Overseer, come meet me. We're gonna try talking to people first. The dog still loves us. Look, I have a friend now. <laughs> I'm still thinking of a name for her. Uh... What do you think? Oh, man, we're getting different votes here. I'm kind of leaning for Tara, considering how the stream started. Those are all good names, though. Tara? I like the sound of that. She's good. Sarah is the best. I still have no job and no life. But having a friend makes it a little more okay. I reach her everywhere now. Well, except inside the diner. She gets frisky. Are you going to be there tonight? Maybe we stay one more night? 
Yeah, whoa, so... Factory just, like, stopped. Does that mean I don't have a job now? When I got the news, I secretly took a bunch of Happy Kid dolls off. And burned them. In a big fire. It felt really good. Maybe I'll finally move out of here like I always wanted. I heard there's a cool place called Delphi across the ocean. The factory stopped running, don't you know? Big changes are coming to Chismas. I can feel it. I can breathe outside again, so I'm happier already. Sweeping's quite soothing, don't you know? Takes your mind off things. And every little sweep makes the town a little cleaner. Oh, sorry, am I in your way? I'll just be right along. So we can't go back into the factory. Uh, gift house is closed. It's closed. We're just gonna, like, look around the uh, town one more time before we leave. Oh! I must say, Starp, what the factory is closed. I have a feeling new construction is on the way. If the Baron was strong enough to build such a great factory, then perhaps it's my turn. Aha! I'm fired up! For the record, I don't think the Baron literally built the factory with his bare hands. I speak of strength in will and business acuity. Strength comes not just from muscles. If the Baron was strong enough to build such a great factory, then perhaps it's my turn. Well, ain't you just a little sweetheart? Something to drink, huh? Like, juice? No. <laughs> so he is an adult? I don't, I don't know whether he's an adult. It's good, you know, we all need a change. Maybe now we can put that energy into making something actually useful. Just an idea. I spent every day wishing it would happen. But I never dreamed it actually would. Happy kid is dead. That's a real happy happy. It's like a veil's been lifted. I'm free of that stupid head. I can do anything now. I have no idea what to do, actually. That's a mood. I think it's time for some kind of adventure. Gotta show some chaos into my life. Do the things I always wanted to. I've had this idea for a book kicking around in my head. Maybe I'll finally start that. That's a mood, too. Maybe he's like 17. I don't know. She thinks he's old enough to drink. I hear the factory shut down. Who, I wonder, if your father might finally come home. Does this mean you're leaving again, Muffin? Oh, what an adventurer. But your mama will miss you. Never be afraid to come back home, okay? I'm sorry if I was ever a little rude. I just want to see you shine. I mean, his mother does seem kind of old. So the factory's done, huh? For some reason, that gives me a feeling of hope. Everything here's been the same for so long. But maybe things can change after all. I've been at work so long. Maybe today, I'll go home and soak my feet. Back when I first opened the diner, I loved it. I need to have that feeling again. So the factory shut down, but there'll always be mail. I guess Chismet's finally got its deliverance. <laughs> like me and just be one of those kids who had older parents. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, this is back this way. I think we explored what we need to. I'd like to stay and see if the diner, or if anything happens at the diner.
Yeah, my parents were kind of... Hi, sorry, I can't really talk right now. I'm... starving. I must be at the diner right away. So, the factory's no more. But my love, she's leaving too. <sighs> Good news never comes without the bad close behind. The time we shared was short. And not particularly loving. Perhaps she never really did love me. But I will treasure our time together nonetheless. With the fact you're gone... The spirit of this town is free once more. New hope can spring. Perhaps even for me. I've finally been able to observe the sky again. And it's as I feared. The stars are disappearing. But I can't find a reason. Well, the universe is ending. I suppose that is one possible explanation. But I don't like that one. When you say the universe is ending, I mean, what makes you say that? Because it is. I met an angel in my dreams who told me all about it. And I've been visiting the spirit world. Meeting magical animal creatures teaching me a song. So I can save the world. This is all sounding highly unscientific. You don't believe me about the universe ending? Nah, I believe you. As a scientist, it's my job to question everything. <laughs> but also, screw that. How does one enter the spirit world? I have to sing a special song in a special place. Hmm. A coded sequence of vibrations. Perhaps linking our dimension to the vibrations of another. Creating a brief bridge between worlds. Hmm. Nope, pretty sure it's just special in magic. Even in the eye of science, we see that all things are connected. Particles colliding with particles, effects rippling into infinity. All that we observe follows naturally from all that came before. When you help others and create happiness, that positivity ripples out too and makes an objectively better world. So keep singing. It's good. Well, good luck on your spirit journey. I'll keep observing what I can here. Perhaps I'll find something useful to saving us. I like that. Right, let's go. Yeah, she's good. She's good. Let's try this again. Oh, that's pretty. The nexus point is called the annual lights. They're nice, right? Now hurry up and sing so we can meet the overseer. You want to leave with me? Yes. Um, but aren't you... I mean, aren't you gonna miss the sad roof guy? Bear is sitting in the kitchen meowing. Who liked you? No. It's not even like that. He's just a friend, okay? I can't believe we're talking about this. Just sing the song already. This time, I'm gonna stand right here next to you. Hitch a ride into the spirit world. What's it usually like in there, anyway? The one time I went was after Queen Chaos died. So it was all dark and empty. <laughs> Shut up! Usually it's all magical and full of puzzles. Huh. 
Well, perfect. This time I'll help you out. I can probably blow us through that stuff instantly. Well, okay. That one went well. That one went pretty well. Miriam? Um. Hello? Audrey got here first. Miriam? She's not here. Oh, the spooky music makes me think Audrey got here first. It's very machinery? Hey, nice. Platforming! Uh, maybe it's just a spooky overseer. Very mechanical. Not today. good at antipieces and like explaining how the mechanics work. Time reversal, yeah. Come on. Up. Whoops. Okay. Oh, this is nerve wracking. No, <laughs> now a living ocarina. I mean, it fits. This is a cool section. I like it. Limbo flashbacks. I have that game. I got it for free, like, when it was free. Yeah. You know, I got it for free when it was free. That's how that works. Um, do we go all the way back down? I'm guessing we go back down. It's also all very loud. 
And exit right. Okay. Understood. This is still gonna stand in our way. Jump, jump. This is one athletic bard. but not strong. There are different ways of being strong. Oh, this is interesting. stuck here, did I? Welcome to Discount Super Meat Boy. Alright, then where's the next place I need to jump? Alright, in here. That didn't work out. We're gonna clip through the sauce. <laughs> okay, we're going in here. possible two builds ago. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, it was just a general patch notes, though. Make time go forward and climb up the gear. Yeah, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this. a lot of buzz saws. Alright, up here. I like the good old-fashioned platforming here. Okay, so we do need to turn that one. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get ya. Up here. Like, they're not terribly hard, but they're satisfying. Up here. There. Shoot, um, and it doesn't take you back too far when you fail, which is nice. I'm working it! I'm working it! I'm not working it very well, but I'm working it. tricky. Okay. 
I'm certainly working it. Ye of little faith. Oh, okay, I might have bugged that a little bit. <sighs> that seems like it was the last... No? Oh! Interesting. Oops. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be how I do it. Go see the kitty. Well, I hope the kitty's okay. I don't know if that was how I was supposed to do that. Whatever it was. There we go. Yeah, the timing is getting a little... Accidentally jumped. Yep, we can work this out. do that. Hold straight up, hold straight up. There we go, nice. That was clever, actually. It. You freeze it and then you, you can free you freeze it and then run to the other side. I get it. I understand. And I can't jump.
Hey, jump! Sorry, I'm trying to focus! Single speed. Um, yeah, I thought we could go backwards, but that turns the pillars backwards, too. Okay, this is a bit of a strange... Oh, wait. I think I see it. Can you jump to the other? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Bah! Or, you know, do- well, that didn't work that time, but... Shoot! That's tough! Um... It's hard for me to hold the button and jump at the same time. Understood. It's, it's, it, the, the singing is on the right stick and the jump is on A. Or, right button. Okay. I understand what to do, it's just pulling it off. Get through the first pillar to then and then freeze time before the saws. Okay, I got it. Understood. Clearly, I did understand because I... Ooh. Okay, this is getting tricky. by myself. Oh, this got creepy. Literally yeet yourself into the distance. No, I figured that last one out all my, by myself, I mean. Singing like mad in aggressive staccato in front of this door. I like this theme. I like this theme. The industrial time steampunk thing. I wonder what the overseer is gonna be. Assuming they aren't already dead. Audrey! Audrey! Oh, what? Hello. 
Are you here to see her highness queen order? Yup. Is she here? Well, of course. She's just ahead in the throne room. Oh, great. Then I'll just go on it. Wait just a second there. Do you have an appointment? Um, no. Well, that isn't going to work. We'll have to schedule one. Oh, no. <laughs> Grumpy face. I'll need to ask you a few questions. What's the purpose of your visit? I need to learn the Earth Song! Uh, um... Sorry, that's not one of the options. Is your purpose personal for, for business? Business? Okay. How big is your party? Um, I only see one person here. Um, no, sorry, I have not. So should I put you down as one? Okay, two people. Why can't I just go see her? Well, that's against the rules here, bucko. We're almost done. How do you take your tea? Sugar. Oh my, tea with sugar. Okay, that's all the questions. Oh great, can I go see her now? Not yet. You need to wait in line. I'm in line? Yes. Where's the line? It's here. Now, wait. We can't move. We can dance, but we can't move. Hello? That is enough. I literally will not let you see her until you stop singing. This fits. He's DJing. Nobody's around to help. <laughs> he looks so grumpy doing this. It's your time to see her now. Follow me. Okay. Whatever that was. <laughs> What's going on here? I believe that would be Audrey going on here. Your Highness Queen Or- What is she? Why aren't you seated at your throne? We- we have a visitor here and you're completely out of place. <laughs> See you for yourself, darling. chair oh my goodness what is he doing here don't wake the cat this is so improper 
So, you're an overseer? Oh, yes. Huh. You seem so normal. Huh? All the other overseers were like magical animals? Humans are animals, darling. Oh, well, yeah, I, I guess. You know, at this precise moment, I'm supposed to be having my tea. Little Order has such a way of getting himself distracted. One moment, please. You're not gonna wake that cat. Dream King. Hey, Order. Why have you come to my castle? The hero came by mine to kill me. Oh no, this, this is gonna be a misunderstanding. I kinda wasn't feeling it. So you ran away. I guess. That's a way to put what I did. You could also put it as... I decided to get out of the castle for a bit. Come visit an old pal. This nice. How are you? No! This is completely out of line for an overseer. We have a duty, Dream the King. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're all old and corrupted. Turning into horrible monsters. Our time to go. Yeah, yeah. But... I really don't want to die. Even if it is our job. I don't think I can do it. So, what am I supposed to do? There she is! Hello, boys! And, Bard! Looks like I finally found you, Dream King! Thought you could get away from me! You just delivered me a twofer instead! Oh, wait! Why... Why are you doing this? Just let the overseers live! The world doesn't have to end! Don't be ridiculous! If we let them live, we'll enter an age of darkness! Nightmare on Earth type stuff. You can run around singing stupid songs all you want. But someone has to take charge and save us. And that someone is me! What was that? Ugh! I can't believe I was the last one to make it here. You just saved the Dream King's life, Miriam. Why are you both getting in my way? The Overseers are not on your side. I'm the hero. Literally chosen by ear. Okay. Okay. You want it that way? You got it. I'm not controlling this. Stay back. One. We're getting achievements for what, um, we're getting achievement, we're getting achievements for what she's doing.
your highness. Mr. Dream King! Did you really give up on fighting the hero? Do I look like I want to? No. But, so, maybe now it's time for you to teach me the Earth Song. Oh, man. You really don't get it. When overseers give up their song, we're giving up the pure part of ourselves. Speeds up the process of becoming a monster. Basically, it's just another way for me to die. But if you do, the world will survive. Sure, with one tiny problem. Miss Hero might be a lunatic. But she was picked by Ia. And her killing me is part of the plan. Whereas you are nobody. What's the point of throwing away my life to entrust the Earth Song, which has never been sung, to you? Because... I already have two pieces of the song. And if your choice is between letting the world end, or saving it, you have to pick saving. Even if it's just a maybe. Or I can pick option C. Survive. Don't get killed by any heroes. Or sacrifice myself for any bards. I think that is my choice. Yeah! <sighs> it's the natural order. But it's still sad. Miriam? Oh, <sighs> yes. <sighs> I'll get you after I catch my breath. Uh, forget about it! You losers wasted enough of my time. The Dream King already got away. I hope you're proud of yourselves. But when he do goes dark and starts making problems, don't come crawling back to me. Wow, Miriam! You stood up to her! <sighs> She's not so tough. Only cause you're tough as nails! I'm glad you came, Miriam. I wouldn't have made it without you. <sighs> Let's get the song piece. Uh, where are we now? Same place, I think. Everything in the spirit world is just a projection. So when an overseer dies, it melts into nothing. Well, not totally nothing. There's still something here. The Earth Song. We're so close! Do you barty thing! The floors make weird sounds here. And there's kind of a rhythm.
I like how clever all of this is. The mechanics of this game are so clever! Act 5. The war twixt two kingdoms. I was thinking about what the hero said. Are the overseers really evil? Evil? I don't know. I hate her guts, so whatever she wants, it's bad. Remember, she's just following the rules. The same rules that say she's the hero. And all the rules say the planet is supposed to die. What is this clip? Oh, Lorcy's a cat. <laughs> Lorcy's a cat. I figured that was getting clipped. So if we're gonna save it, we have to break the rules. The Earth Song is a pretty big mystery to me and Grandma. We don't know what happened in past universes. Like... Did anyone ever try to get the pieces before? Does it even work? Heck if I know. But we have to try. Yeah, that's what Grandma said. Hoo hoo hoo! Hold on to hope, Miriam! I like your Grandma. Me too. Do you miss her? Doesn't matter. We're getting close now. I'm gonna go down. <laughs> Ugh, I'm tired. This looks like a good place to rest. More ghosts? It looks creepy. I'm tired. We're resting here. Nice and toasty in here. Aren't you glad we came in? The leader behind the counter looks like she knows the deal. Um, hi. We want to stay here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you can't. All the rooms are taken. Except for one. And that one is haunted. What? Really? Normally I'd be completely kidding, but right now I'm not. Hey, Vlad, can't you sing to ghosts or whatever? Yeah, I can! <laughs> really? Normally we'd be completely kidding. Except we never are because we're an actual walking joke. Well, if you're willing to brave it, it's the very last door upstairs. Just be careful. It's a mean ghost. Don't try anything funny. It's the last door in the hall upstairs. No one's really talkative. Too spooky. So we're doing ghosts again. Oh no! He's spooked. He's spooked. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> I guess she forgot to give me the key. I'll just go back for it.
What is going on here? Oh! Okay, this is weird. Dance Dance Rev a Spookchen. I couldn't follow along with all of that. He's a little spooked. Minstrel, your voice. Can you lend it to me? Deliver this to rule as king and this war. What? What just happened? What just happened? Why does everyone want a piece of us? Stranger. Ah. Uh, Miriam? Miriam! I'm awake! I'm awake! Sheesh. The spirit. Is it really gone? Yep. Maybe we were all wrong about you. We thought you are from over the border. Huh? You must really be a stranger to these parts, eh? We sure are! Well, let me make things simple for you. Around here, there are two big kingdoms. Rul, that's us in the east, and Chandesh, it's in the west. We've been at war for generations. Why? A great many reasons, Traveler. Their assaults on us are never ending. Even this very forest, it once was lush with trees and flowers. But the Chandesh burned it down. They have no regard for nature. We're in no man's land on the border here. So we always gotta keep watch for spies. That ghost she chased off. She was Shondish too. She gave me a message. For the king of rule. A message for a king from Shondish? That can't be any good. What's the message? I don't know. But she said it would end the war. I can feel it waiting in me. I think we should deliver it. Why does this crap always happen to us? What? I said great! Let's go deliver this ghost message to the king! Yeah! I appreciate the favor you did me in my end, stranger. 
so I won't stop you. But I will say, be careful with a message like that. It's probably hard to understand because you ain't from here. But anything from Shandish, we've learned not to trust. What? But she seems so nice. I mean, she was all haunty and scary. And she attacked me with rainbow ghost balls. But after that, she was nice. I'm sure it's fine. Good luck on your journey, stranger. It's a big ugly out here, but past the wall is real nice. Especially if you make it to the capital. Siatan. Siatian. Well, it's a beautiful place when it's not a burned mess. A lot of dangerous types come through here. I inherited this place from my folks, but the area's no good anymore. Why they bother to rebuild after the fires beyond me? For those sorry few out here, it's their only refuge. Apologies if I made you nervous earlier. I'm a soldier of rule. I would never use my sword but against a true villain. And why do you have a flamingo? Myself and my kin shall leave you in peace. Kin? What's that? Oh, you... I suppose you are quite new to this kingdom. There are animal companions. Everyone in rule grows up with one. We soldiers are many, and the borderlands are where we most needed. Lee, wary out there. It's not safe. Gets lonely out here. Not better you come to the border. That's the price of duty, my nation. The spooky presence is lifted. Thank you, traveler. My wife and I were refugees of this conflict. So much fear in the world. That must be why the spirits are restless. This burned land is cursed. It's no place to make a home. I got family on the other side of the border, but I haven't seen them in a long time. I came with my husband and kin to try and cross, but seeing the dead forest, we didn't want to go any farther. Feels like there's something dark out there. The forest's a ruler so beautiful. Who would be evil enough to burn them down? The conflict rises and falls, but it's been going for longer than I remember. Folks normally don't come near the border. Rainbow Lizard Cat. Well, up, up, and away. Uh, what? Let's fly! No. No? I am tired. I slept on a floor. Barely. You try carrying you for a couple of days. See how you feel about doing it another day after that. You're walking. Jeez. Oh, a ziggurat. Ziggurat. What's at the top of the ziggurat? No, it's left. Left, left, left. The sound effects of this game are really good. Just notice that. This is the Sky Temple. And the next nexus point. People built a whole temple around it. It's the place that matters, not really the temple. What's special about the place? Never really figured that out either. All the nexus points seem to be near natural formations. But they're just places where there's a lot of spirit stuff. Spirit stuff is also kind of everywhere and invisible. Because our world and spirit world are linked. But at these places, it's stronger. Enough that you can move between them. Basically. My grandma could probably explain it better. 
anyway, it's useless for us for now. Overseer song, blah, blah. And it's a pretty view. That's not useless. Okay, so where are we going from here? Left? There we go. Hey! Don't get us lost in the wrong kingdom. Rule us back the other way. Ow. I have no idea where I'm going. Which way to the Foog has joined the party? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for following, and I uh, hope you enjoy coming with us on this in future adventures. I don't know that guy. All right. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Well, that looks like a castle to me. Whoa! That's a pretty big wall. Is that just to keep out people from other kingdoms? It seems kind of excessive. But they must be serious about it. We probably shouldn't just go around it. We might get in trouble. I wonder if there's someone we could talk to. What should we do? But Wall's down. Miriam! That's against the law, I'm pretty sure. I told you. We're gonna have to break a few rules, right? We don't have time to worry about this crap. Now, come on. <laughs> Wall's down. I like that. Just whoop, up. Whoop, whoop, it's fine now. Whoop, it's fine. We're fine. Hey, did you notice how quiet it is? Where would he be without her? Um, probably on the other side of that wall still. There's no animals or birds here. I mean, on the other side of that wall at the very least. Oh. Whoa. What happened here? It looks like a monster attack. Hmm. Maybe it's nice. Uh, like the ones at Delphi. Yeah, probably not. Let's be careful around here. It looked like the wall was there to protect the forest, since the other side got so wrecked. But this side got pretty wrecked too. They said that other kingdom burned it And they said that other kingdom burned it down, right? This definitely doesn't look like burning. There's something weird going on out here. Good sound. Good sound. Good sound. Hey. That looks like a thing. Ah. Whoa! It's on your face! I know! Do something! It didn't like that. I was so scared. But I guess it wasn't so bad. Yeah, it's just one little guy. Miriam, don't ever say something like that. I wonder where he came from. Don't ever say it's one little guy. Oh. We should run. 
We should sing! What? It works, right? We have to get through the forest to the king. So we have to try. You know what? Sure. Knock yourself out. I lost my rhythm. Apparently about that far. Wow. What a bunch of chumps. Let's keep going. Before they come back. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I kind of got messed up there. For a little bit. Also, I think because we started late? Uh... Because we started late, how do you guys feel about going to um, either 15 or 30? Because it's past usually the time, yeah. Got a little late. Do shoot tech. Call prob. Blims at the start. Okay. 15 to 30 minutes, yeah. I'm probably not going the full hour and a half that we Whoa! What? Halt. Stay back. 
back from the wall and identify yourselves. What's a witch doing here in the forest? What? We're delivering a message for the king. What's wrong with being here, dude? You're a witch! Yeah, I... So what? These are dangerous times. Hold on a moment. What's going on, man? There's a witch at the gate! Whoa, what? Here in the forest? Let me see. They say they have a message for the king. Huh, really? They seem okay to me. They're obviously spy. Fine, they're obviously spies. I don't know, man. They look like refugees to me. We can't just leave them with the monsters, can we? I think we can. No way. Let him in, man. Ain't no time to be uncouth. All right, I'm letting you in. But come through quickly. Startle the board. Jeez, stop doing that! Stay back! Sheesh! Ping, man. You gotta tell your kin to cool it. What's everyone's deal here? Are you are are you not from Shandesh? No. You sure? But what about the witch? What? No. Seriously, what is your problem? It's cause witches comes from Shandesh, man. Peng, she has no idea what's going on here. You gotta cool it. This is seriously not cool, dude. Okay, okay, sure. Is your animal gonna attack us again? No. We're cool. Okay, okay, great. You two are totally welcome here, okay? We got a lot going on with the monsters and all. So it's all a bit crazy right now. But you really don't seem like you're dangerous. We're all gonna take it easy now, okay? Hmm. You're both lucky Phil's in, Phil's in charge here. If you are innocent, I apologize for my aggression. But I have my mother to worry about as well. We can't be too careful these days. So I'll be keeping an eye on you. We're surrounded on all sides by awful dark spirits. And apparently questionable travelers. So getting in and out of this town is a nightmare. We're just waiting for the Shandesh army to follow. We're all very peaceful here. We don't need unruly travelers coming and making a ruckus. You understand? Please respect us and our town. I'm sorry my son gave you trouble. Ignore him. He's a fool. You and your friends seem perfectly nice to me. It's true that the forest has gotten very dangerous. I've been trapped in the sorry town for who knows how long. I'll probably die here, too. Mother! Don't speak like that. At one point, a very tough girl came through here. And for a time, she kept us safe. But of course, as soon as she left, things became terrible again. All the while, my idiot son hasn't helped anyone. Even some person with a sword is tougher than my son. Pathetic, isn't it? Mother! That was the hero of legend! How am I supposed to be as strong as she is? Hero legend? Who gives a hoot? You'd be strong too if you weren't so lazy. I do believe that was our hero. I don't trust these people to be cool. Maybe because they attacked us with a bird. Maybe. Ugh, I feel so weird here. Like, everyone keeps looking at me. I'm not the one with a weird attack bird. I hate this stupid kingdom. The people are weird, and it's full of monsters. I don't know which is worse.
Hey there, Warefear. Sorry I didn't introduce myself. I'm Phil. I'm kind of the boss around here. Sorry about Ping. This monster situation's got us all wound up. Leaving here is dangerous. We've been trapped here for days now. You know how it is. I gotta ask, though. How did you get through the woods to here? I sang to the monsters. Whoa, no kidding? You still fit right in, then. We play music here every night. Keep spirits up. You should join us tonight, Wayfair. We can put all this ugly behind us. We'll be setting up the fire soon. Just let me know when you're ready. You all have been trapped here. Yeah, pretty much. We're here to turn the trees into lumber. Nice work, living amongst the forest. The monsters showed up and the forest got dangerous. We used to have a lot more folks. We're going to mill and all. Oh gosh, did they all? Oh no, they didn't die. At least I don't think so. They left in a big group for the seas then, with the hero. She was here? The bear changed colors. Oh yeah, saved our lives, but we have elderly and kids and kin. Folks who couldn't do the intense journey with her. So a few of us stand back to keep him safe. We're hoping the king sends back help soon. It's a lot in our minds, we're here. That's why we need nice campfire songs. Yeah, I'm with you. The time's just not right yet. So though, eh? Does the bird do that too? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Personally, yeah. Ain't so many of us left here now. You think the king even knows about us stuck here? I bet he doesn't. Or he doesn't care. I'm worried for my granddaughter and her kin. They were supposed to go back to Siafen. Until the monster showed up. How much longer are we going to be trapped here? This ain't no place for a girl to grow up. This place sucks. I miss Siafen so much. Now I'm stuck here, with nobody but Grandpa and our kin. <sighs> I've never met a witch before. Can you do a magic trick? Oh, I'm not a witch. My friend Miriam is, though. Can she do a magic trick? I feel like if I ask her, she'll get mad. What are witches like? Well, Miriam is really grumpy all the time. But she's also really cool. One time she fought the hero. So she's grumpy all the time and she fights the hero. I guess that's why everyone hates witches. Wait, that's not what I meant. Oh, okay. But let's get that campfire going. Yes, I'm so ready too. Beautiful night, eh? In honor of our new wearing fair and friends, I'm gonna tell an old tale. About a wayfarer and a witch. They say it happened here, in this very forest. And they say if you listen real close, you can hear their old spirits singing along to it too. Why not start us off with this, with a G wayfarer? of her travels under full moon's twinkling I can't sing to this
was drawn to a meadow. The tree stood still and silent, watching the maiden twirl the air. Her breath escaped in song, and her soul had been ensnared. They danced in step, weightless, in f with nothing left but two hearts entwined. From that moment, the witch's magic burned, the spell had been cast, as her love did slowly learn. As each night lingered on, the wayfarer's soul grew thin. Her body faded softly as the spell pulled her in. They danced in step, weightless, in time, with nothing left but two hearts entwined. Sorry, I couldn't sing to that. I couldn't get the melody. Cool song. Thanks very much, Wayfair. We've been singing it for generations. But it's kind of sad, too. Why did the witch curse the Wayfair? If they were in love. Huh. You know? Never really thought about it. <laughs> A lot of coming up with headcanons here. <coughs> I guess I always figured the witch was some kind of trickster who snatched up the Wayfair's soul. <gasps> no! But why? <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Maybe it's just a stupid made up song. Who cares why? Well, not totally made up. Like I said, it happened in these woods. And the Wayfair was a girl from Rue? Yeah, it feels like I swallowed dust. And then her soul got snatched? Well, that's how the story goes. Sounds pretty made up to me. Or what? Do you think witches just go around snatching souls? No, but there's a noodle in a certain forest who likes doing that for a living. He, he needs a better hobby. Holy crap, do you actually? No, well, we aren't used to seeing witches. It's hard to know sometimes. They're cruel, they're cruel folk, witches. What are you talking about? Where do you think the forest monsters come from? They're soldiers of Shadesh, magically created and sent here to attack us and destroy our precious forest. I didn't know that. They're the reason we've been trapped here. But why? <coughs> That's the scariest thing about Shandish. We don't know why. But from their actions, it's clear they hate us. They have no regard for nature or our way of life. Tell us this, witch. You said you had a message for the king. Who's it from? What's the message? It's a secret. But it's something that can end the war. Hmm. She really thinks so, Wayfair? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but that's just not possible. Well, here's open. I think it's starting to get on inside. Yeah, maybe we call it for the eve. Yeah. I think I've had enough of this. Secret messages, which is coming through here. You know how suspicious this all looks. Don't make us traitors to rule by housing you. 
We have enough problems at as it is. Guess we'll be on your way then, eh? Sorry if stuff got a little heavy last night. I want her to be as loving as it can be. We got enough bad going on outside. Tell the king we said, hey. And if you find anyone who came out of here, tell them we're okay too, yeah? You like our rainbow trees, Wayfair? We brought them here from Siafen. Siatian. If you go there, you'll see tons more. A reminder of us to take care of nature. We might be chopping trees to build our homes, but we always plant more where they come from. We gotta work together with the forest. Just like with our kin. That's something that means a lot to us near and rural. Pet the bear. Pet the bear! Bear dog. Thing. Must be nice to be able to fly. Just come and go while we're stuck. Witch has got it all. If you're seeing the king, least you can do is remind him about us. Since we treated you so nice and all. I'm so done with this place. Let's get out of here. I'm flying. Lumbertown. Rainbow trees. I can make us jump. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just screwing around at this point. That's a big boy. <gasps> oh, hey. <laughs> little, little bee. Who's this? <laughs> oh, you know. Just an old buddy. She's in cahoots with the hero. Cahoots, huh? Little bee. I'm in cahoots with everyone. <laughs> You're all my special little buds. I don't pick favorites. I don't like her. What happened here? Big fight! Between Audrey and some monsters, I mean. Me and Audrey are so cool. <laughs> it was crazy! The monsters were all like, blah, 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 blah! And Audrey was all like, shing, shing, boom! She's just so cool. She saved the city big time. I think now they're celebrating with her. Oh, great. So she's here. Now you all get to hang out more. I don't think I want to see her. She sucks. She's really not that bad. Why don't you get to know her at least? But okay, I'm out. I was just zoning out here. I didn't expect to see you. Um, but hey, good luck. Um, whole earth song thing. <laughs> okay. I think I think it's the first one. Characters have unique designs. She didn't notice us. She definitely did. But she's being too cool to notice. Pfft. Show us on her. While she's busy getting fawned on, we can go straight to the king. Deliver your silly message, and then get a head start on the real quest. End of the world, over to your song, remember? Sounds like a plan. Shiatan Palace up this hill. 
Not this way, but I'm looking. Lodge. We get to date Miriam at the end of this. I don't know. I mean... I can't really see either of them dating. Okay, that was odd. All right, we're going up the hill. Up the hill. Let's find out what our message actually is. Ooh, alchemy. <laughs> pet the dog, or pet the deer dog. Deer. Dating and being incredibly naive about the whole thing. What, like, friends? I tried to go by without petting it. I couldn't. I can't go without petting it. The dirg. The dirg. Palace gardens. We going the right way? Palace up this hill. We're coming up on time? Yeah. I think we'll just do this part and then... Hey! Well, hey now, Wanderer. You again! What are you doing here? Me? I'm catching some sun. Sun's good for you, Wanderer. It's so warm. It just feels right, you know? I found a great place to catch the sun. A high up spot in the desert far from here. If you find it, well... I better not say. It's for you to discover. Alright, we're just gonna do this part. Hello. Uh, hello. Well, we're here to meet the king or whatever. Can you go get him or something? Absolutely not! In case you haven't noticed, we are at war. It's my sole duty to protect the king from harm. So we are not allowing anyone in or out at this time. Especially not any witches. What? That's ridiculous. Nobody? What about you? You don't go in or out? Obviously, we make some exceptions. We've invited the hero for a special visit. But unless you are of her caliber, no way, sister. Her! Of course it's her! However, you can feel free to enjoy the exquisite castle garden. Oh, sure! I'm gonna just ravish your stupid garden. Can't get enough. Maybe I'll eat all your stupid trees and flowers. Because they are so exquisite! We should go, Miriam. Yeah, sure. I want to get a good idea of, like, where we pick up. Um. Yeah, where do we go here? Because the palace is up here and this is the garden. believe this what do we do now um well we could forget about your ghost message no we can't do that it could end the war Miriam we can't quit yet well then we can talk to your good buddy the hero no definitely not that either those are the choices I think we should focus on finding the overseer song but you do you! Alright. So our next thing is gonna be talking to the hero. Got it. 
Understood. Understood. Okay. Stretching. 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 Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing on Thursday, whether we're going to be continuing this or whatever. I don't know. Um, ba 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 ba. Why do we have to tell her to the hero? We, we did luck out, yeah. Um, thank you guys for sort of sticking with me through the beginning part for the whole Terraria thing. I feel really bad about how this whole thing. Wait, I got an achievement? We got 200 followers! We got 200 followers! Yeah, and the things are overlapping each other because I don't know how to stop that from happening. 200 followers! Thank you guys so much! Thank you guys so much! That's insane! Uh, yeah, thank you guys for stopping by, including the lurkers. I see what there. If you are not already a part of it, join our Discord. It's a good time. I do apologize for the problems that the stream had. Uh, it wasn't really in my control, and I feel pretty bad about it, but hey, it worked out in the end. It worked out. So uh, I'm going to go host Squega, who's doing Celeste. Uh, looks like he's doing, yeah, he's, he's doing more of the challenge stuff in Celeste, so. So, yeah, we're gonna go host him. Thank you guys for coming. I will see you guys on Thursday at 4 p.m. And, uh, for now, this paperlet play is signing off. See you around. <laughs>